Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're gonna do phase two of the porch makeover. I'm gonna actually start building the bench. It's an L-shaped farmhouse style. It's gonna be all, all stained. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Right here you can see I have 12 two by fours uh, that I'm gonna use to build this bench. So I'm really excited. Uh, but first what I have to do is let me show you. All right, so the first thing that I have to do is this box. I actually have to remove it. The bench is gonna take up this whole corner, but unfortunately, that electrical box sticks out way too far. Hopefully that I can remove this, put a whole new plate, and this will be a lot more flush. That way I can go a little bit closer. If it sticks out a little bit, so the bench is right to about here, I'm okay with this, but this has to go. So that is it. Um, as you can see right here, I got it. So it basically is now flush with the wall. So when I wouldn't go ahead and put on the bench against the wall, it won't stick out. So much better. All right, on to the next step of this build. So listen, I just got done installing the electrical outlet plate out front. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come back over here. I'm gonna start cutting the two by fours for the top of the bench and get those all done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the description below, I'm gonna put a link to my blog page and I'm going to put my cut list that I used for the bench that I'm building. I got some inspiration off of Pinterest for this. I saw somebody who pretty much did this, this, this bench already, but mine, of course, is gonna be a video on it. So I'm gonna give credit where credit's due. I found it on Pinterest and I believe it was Remodelholics. I'm gonna put a link to that pin below as well because I wanna give credit to where I found this exactly and it looks awesome. So below is the description, in the description is the link to that. Before you do that, make sure you come over here, like and subscribe to the channel somewhere down here. Click on that bell button, hit that uh, notification bell, that way you get notified of all my newest videos. I got all my wood laid out how I'm going to cut, so let's go over here and get this thing cut, and then we'll come over here and lay out the pieces and drill it all together. So without further ado, here comes the high-speed montage. All right, everybody, so we got the bench cut up. I got all the pieces laid out. It's just roughly put together. I don't have it all screwed together, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my screws and put it together. All right, here's another tip, guys. So I actually purchased this kit of screws, and it's awesome. It is all wood screws, and there's about 100 or so in here. Actually, <laughs> I lied, there's more like one, two, three, four. one, two, three, four, five, almost 500 screws in this kit, and you can get them at Walmart for 10 bucks. Check that out. Look at everything you get for 10 bucks. It's amazing. $10.85. Get rid of that. frame all put together as you can see and now what I'm gonna do is cut uh, some 18 inch legs 
Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get those cut and then come back and put the legs on. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I might actually drop it down a half an inch and go 17 and a half because with the added half inch from the two by four for the seat, that'll bring it to an even 19 inches tall, kind of a perfect height for kids to sit on, um, adults as well. So we're gonna go with, let's go with 17 and a half inch legs. All right, there they are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over because this is the exact direction that it's gonna be in. Um, this is gonna be against the one side of the wall and this is the back wall. So I don't wanna screw them in like this because if I flip it over, it's gonna be reversed to what I want. So I'm gonna actually take this, lift it up, flip it upside down, and then I'm gonna attach all the legs. So there it is so far. Actually, uh, it sat pretty good. What I'm gonna do is now create the top piece right here. I'm gonna cut a square box out, and that is gonna be for the top bench piece. Uh, it's like a, gonna be look like a little table. So I'll kind of show you what I'm gonna do real quick. Here we go. So here's where we're at so far. If you see right here, it's perfect. Everything is exactly like I wanted. It's gonna hang over one inch and one inch on that side. But here's gonna be the problem, and I, can, I already know how I'm gonna fix it. So this right here, if you look, right there, that is gonna be an issue. So what I'm gonna have to do is create a 45 degree inch notch on this board and a 45 degree on notch on this board. Okay, so I need to do a 45 here and a 45 here. All right, check it out. So these boards are now cut. And this is what I was talking about right there. So I cut a 45 degree notch right here. And now this board in the back is flush. You could see right here, this is to the back of it. And then also on this side, it is flush as well. So now all I gotta do is put these boards together um, this direction. And how to do that is very easy. What I'm gonna do is flip these boards over and drill some pocket holes. One, two, three, four. In these three boards, I don't need to do it in this board. I just gonna I'm just gonna have to do it in one, two, three boards and connect all these together. And then I'll do the same thing with this board, one, two, three, drill some pocket holes, connect them all together, and this bench will be nearly done. And now you can see, and now you can see why I actually used two by six in here, because I'm gonna create a top for this. That way it's like a little seating bench. So it's coming together. Um, I had to go with a two by six down the center because two by fours unfortunately wouldn't work. They were just a little bit too short on the ends and I didn't want to put this real little tiny piece on the end of where the corner is right here. It basically two by fours ended up 
ending right there and that just wasn't going to work. So I went ahead and opted for a 2x6 to go right down the center and that kind of made it symmetrical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully flip these over and mark where I need to do pocket holes in the 2x6 to connect everything together and then I'm going to create a square off of this one. This is 19 inches long and it goes right to the back corner right here. So this is where this one is going to start and it's going to overhang about three quarters of an inch on this side. So I'm going to basically cut a square off of this. Okay, so what I did was I knew that I needed 19 inches from this point to this point. And all I did was, as you can see, I found my center point in this line, right in this two by six. And basically nine and a half inches is the halfway point. So then what I did was I found nine and a half inches from this one and nine and a half inches from this one up, made a couple little dots you could see one right there, and you could see one right there, and I drew a straight line this way. So now I had the perfect X. Now what I did was I figured nine and a half inches from here, which was right there, just to the edge, and then nine and a half inches from there, again, just from the edge, I made a little dot, and then I connected these lines. And now what that did was that's gonna give me a perfect square, which, once I cut this piece off, you can see this has an X, 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 X. Those pieces will fall off and I'm gonna have a perfect square and everything is held together with pocket screws. Where I kind of messed up was where my lines are gonna end. I forgot to adjust for this hole. So I should have came in a little bit tighter here and here, but you know what? It's really not a big deal because this side here is gonna be the front face, which you'll see on this point and this one here will be on this side. And there's gonna be a little tiny lip underneath, like a little cut, but you know what? I'm totally fine with that. So what I'm gonna do is get this cut out with the circular saw. I'm gonna cut this off. And fortunately, I won't hit any screws because they basically are right about there. You can see the pockets are way down in there. So when I cut this off, I won't hit any screws and I won't ruin anything and everything will still hold itself together. So what I'm gonna do is set up the camera and then let's go ahead and get this piece, is, uh, let's get this thing cut and we'll be good to go. All right, everybody, so I went ahead and I got the pieces cut off. You can see right there, unfortunately, I did the mistake. I forgot to hit record. I went ahead and cut the lines, but there it is. How awesome is that? That thing looks fantastic. I love it. Now all I have to do is connect everything down. I think what I'm gonna do is one more thing which I didn't add yet. I'm gonna put some braces in between the legs just to kind of give a little bit of added support when people sit down, they don't flex back and forth. So in between each piece, we're gonna do some cuts. I'm gonna measure what they are and then when I go ahead and get them in, I'll let you know. All right, so what we're gonna need to put in between each leg is I'm gonna need four seven inch pieces that uh, I'm gonna cut using some scrap two by four that I had left over. Once I get that done, all I have to do is secure the tops of these seats, sand it down, secure the top, secure the seats, sand it all down, stain it all up, and we're done. One thing I noticed when I cut these seven inches I didn't like, I don't like the way that this sticks out a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take this piece over to my table saw and I'm gonna rip off about a quarter of an inch on both sides. And it's All right, so I got everything cut up. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in between and I'm gonna use this block as a template on how high to set it. So we'll set it like that and then we'll put the block in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this. I'm going to put some pocket holes 
right here, 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 and here, and here. So I'm going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm going to flip this over, drill out some pocket holes, stand it up, and then that way I'll flip it upside down and I will screw, because I don't want to see screws on the seats themselves. I don't want to see that. I want to actually do some pocket holes that will hold the seats down and then that way we can sand this whole thing up, get it all sanded and then stain it and it will be done. This project will be completed. All right, everybody. So the bench is completed. It's ready for sanding and then stain. So we've got two more steps. This thing turned out awesome. I cannot believe how awesome this thing is. Without further ado, let's turn around. I got this thing completely put together. It's 100% screwed together. There's no loose parts anymore. Without further ado, here we go. Check it out, there it is. That is the front porch bench. It turned out awesome, super easy. I think it took about 10, nine two by fours and one two by six. Luckily I had some pieces laying around to do that right there and then the two by six in the middle. I mean, it might have taken one six foot piece, but uh, the rest of it was all two by fours and screws, super easy to do. All right, everybody, I am done for the evening. When we come back tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and have this thing sanded and stained, and then this will be done, phase two of our front porch makeover. This thing is amazing. So today is a new day. So what I'm gonna do is set up the camera. We're gonna get it all sanded up and stained, and then we're done. So. All right, without further ado, here we go. All right, everybody, so I am done with the sanding part. So what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna go to the store and get some Jocko Bean Minwax stain because what we have is Kona, and to be honest with you, it's just way too dark. So I, I kinda want it to match up what we have outside already. Let me get out of this light here. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go to the store, get some stain for this thing, and then when we come back, I'm gonna go ahead and get it all stained and then put it on the porch and the project is done. All right, everybody, here we go. All right, everybody, so that is it. The bench is 100% complete and it looks amazing, honestly. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it to its final resting place. And uh, once we are done, we'll go ahead and kind of give you the, the, the final shot and the, uh, the final prognosis of the video. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. All right, so we got it up on the uh, porch and I'm gonna take you over here, flip the camera around and show you what this thing looks like. Look at that. That is the porch bench. It's awesome. Turned out amazing. I couldn't be in more happier. Basically, it goes 48 inches, and this is 40 inches. Plenty of room for our new screen door to open up without really hitting it. Um, actually, it goes all the way without even coming close to hitting the glass, and that was kind of a concern of mine, but I guess we win the final final. So. Check it out. Awesome. Stained all the way around. It's perfect. Already decorating it. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. What do you think? Love it. You love it. Love it. All right. It's a perfect screenshot right there. Mm -hmm. get in. You gotta get over there. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Go down below, hit the bell button, get notified of all of my newest videos. And until next time, make sure you all stay awesome. Stay awesome, everybody. See you on the next one. Bye.